Okay, this is a security circuit. I have a deck. Let me stand up and give you a, a view here. It goes about 35 feet away. All right, and over here, this area off the edge, that's about seven feet up. So somebody could, if they want, to jump up here, which I don't think is going to happen. But you know, just to be safe, I wanted some sort of a beam crossing this deck. So if they do hop up, it'll activate the light on the ceiling and that light in the ceiling. It'll, it'll light up the whole back deck. So I made this whole thing you're looking at right here. There's a laser beam in there. You can see it's on right now because it's kind of dark out. And it's activated by that photo cell, which I have with a trimmer on it, actually a potentiometer, adjusting the sensitivity of it. And it, when, it, when it gets dark enough, it'll turn on that laser. That laser, and I have some adjusting screws right here. You tighten this one to bring the beam up that corner. If you want to tighten that, to bring it this way. And I bolted it into the brick molding right here, which is goes into a 2x6 on the wall. This is a very sensitive unit, and it usually does not work good on a wood frame house, but I have it set up that it's working really good. I haven't had to adjust it in a month. But I figure once a month you might just adjust it if it rains really heavy for a few weeks. The, you know, the wood will swell up and things will start to move, and the beam will move out of alignment and cause the light to go on. But like I said, for about a month, no problem at all. All right, so I'll show you the other end now. I'm going to go this way. That beam shoots all the way across, and it goes into this unit that I made. You can see the beam, the laser being collected by that cone. I took an uh, electrical box, and I outfitted it for my needs. I made this little cone here. It's made out of aluminum. I riveted it up. And what it does, it catches the beam. And I made it a really steep angle like that. So if the light goes a little off center, it'll direct it right into the photo cell. And when it gets, so as long as this beam is intact, the light remains off. As soon as somebody breaks that beam, what'll happen, it'll trigger the relay and another circuit that I made. There's a uh, time delay off circuit. So what it'll do is once you break the beam, the lights on the ceiling on the whole back deck will come on for 30 seconds. And once they, they click off, the circuit resets. It's a really good circuit. You can see the laser in there right now glowing. And it's coming from way down there in that wall. Go below it. There you can see it. Pretty handy to have. And it turns on that light and that light. 